What is sludge and its treatment process? Sludge refers to the solid residue that remains after the wastewater treatment process. It consists of both organic and inorganic materials that are removed during different stages of wastewater treatment. Sludge is commonly separated into two types. Primary sludge. Primary sludge is generated during the primary treatment phase of wastewater treatment. It mainly consists of settleable solids such as suspended organic matter, grit and heavier particles that settle down in sedimentation tanks or clarifiers. Primary sludge has a high moisture content and organic content. Secondary sludge or activated sludge. Secondary sludge is produced during the secondary treatment process which involves biological treatment using microorganisms to break down organic matter. This process typically takes place in systems like activated sludge reactors, trickling filters or rotating biological contactors. The microorganisms form flocks that create a biomass known as activated sludge. When the activated sludge is separated from the treated wastewater, it becomes secondary sludge. Sludge treatment involves several processes to reduce its volume, stabilize its organic content and make it suitable for disposal or beneficial reuse. The treatment processes commonly employed for sludge include Thickening Sludge thickening aims to increase the solids content by removing excess water. Gravity thickeners or centrifuges are commonly used to separate water from the sludge, reducing its volume and making subsequent treatment processes more efficient. Stabilization Sludge stabilization reduces the organic content and pathogens present in the sludge to minimize odor, reduce health risks and enhance its stability. Stabilization can be achieved through different methods such as Aerobic digestion In this process, the sludge is mixed with air or oxygen to encourage the growth of aerobic microorganisms that consume organic matter and convert it into CO2, water and more microorganisms. Anaerobic digestion Anaerobic digestion involves the decomposition of organic matter by microorganisms in the absence of oxygen. This process produces biogas, mainly methane and carbon dioxide, which can be captured and used as an energy source. Anaerobic digestion also reduces the volume of sludge and eliminates pathogens. Composting Composting is a natural biological process that involves the decomposition of organic materials, including sludge, under controlled conditions. It converts the sludge into a stable, odorless and nutrient-rich material called biosolids, which can be used as a soil amendment in agriculture or landscaping. Dewatering Dewatering is the process of removing additional water from the sludge to further reduce its volume and make it easier to handle and transport. Common dewatering techniques include centrifuges, belt filter presses and sludge drying beds. Dewatered sludge is typically referred to as cake or solids. Disposal or reuse The final step in sludge treatment involves proper disposal or beneficial reuse of the treated sludge. Depending on the quality of the sludge and regulatory requirements, options for sludge disposal can include Landfilling. Treated sludge can be disposed of in specially designed landfills that comply with environmental regulations and prevent contamination of groundwater and surface water.
Incineration Sludge incineration involves the controlled combustion of sludge at high temperatures, reducing its volume further and generating heat and energy. Advanced incineration technologies can also recover energy from the combustion process. Agricultural use, treated sludge, known as biosolids, can be applied to agricultural land as a fertilizer or soil conditioner, provided it meets specific quality standards and regulations. Other reuse options, treated sludge can be used in various other applications, such as land reclamation, construction materials.